What is up guys, Andrew here with Fast Cutters Lawn Landscaping. So, gag, it is, you know, just the end of February, February so the season's about to start picking up. You can see some grass on there. So this footage you just saw um, cutting grass from a few days ago. As you can see, it's striped really well. I'm going to pop some pictures up here. So this yard cut amazing. So um, I'm going to go show you the yard right now. And then we're going to talk about how to do that so yard. So as you can see, there's some dead spots in the yard. I'll talk about that in just a minute. But this yard is in the summer, mostly fescue. Um, there's a little bit of Bermuda. But this right here is like the one spot that's dead. I mean, besides that, it's pretty much growing the rest of the yard. So uh, this is rye grass. Uh, it's winter grass. So plant it in like uh, October, November, and it grows. And it, uh, it's this is, of course, I'm down south on Tennessee. So this, uh, if you're up north, maybe not be what I would recommend. Uh, but if you are in the south, this is what I would recommend. It grows amazing. Um really just looks amazing this is a bad angle for those stripes but up here on this side yard uh, you can see there's that little dead spot right there but most of it is actually uh, this nice grass um, so I'm gonna figure out what that dead spot is next year when I plant I'm gonna kind of do some testing on the plant um, but this is the first clump of grass that I have seen in a while this is when I cut it a few days back this is where this video is from um, but it's just, it's it's the one yard of the street, like compared to my other neighbor's yard, and it's the stripes right there are just, it's it's just crazy. It's uh, but my neighbor's yard will just have weeds, but this yard, like some other neighbors, will just have weeds. This yard, is nice. Um, so this spot like gets a lot of traffic, especially for my mower, uh, driving back and forth to get up the other side. Um, and then you can see right here. So I think my problem may have been I cut it a little bit too soon So don't cut this grass until it's like eight inches nine inches or more like six or seven inches um, But let it grow a lot. Uh, let the grass really get uh, high because up here. This is where it happened too. Um, let it grow before you cut it because I'll drive right there um, and, and hopefully these dead spots won't happen next year if I don't drive on that so um it's going to be tempting to cut it first because uh, it looks really beautiful, but you just got to let it uh, sit um, so that doesn't happen. Um, and the stripes, uh, you have to be careful with your mower because this is weaker grass, so you can't go spinning around in circles in the yard because um, it will not, uh, it will hurt the grass uh, and it will lay down. Uh, the stripes, I mean, this is... You can, this is about five, six days after I did the first cut with that uh, picture. And the stripes are not amazing, obviously. Um, right now, you can see a little bit right there. They were amazing when I first cut, but they're not as nice right now. And the only reason because of that is because it's raining and it's been about five days. February 27th, and this is the grass. I apologize, I did have to cut out a, lot, a good bit of that video because of wind. It's been very windy recently. Uh, if you want that yard, which I hope the footage is good enough so you do, uh, I would always want a yard like this. That's always plan to have a yard like this because it's really nice. Um, so number one, you sow uh, grass with your aerating. Do it right when you aerate. Don't like wait a while. So you'll sow, you'll aerate. I try to do it really deep in several times so you get a lot of plugs. Plug aerate, not. Uh, whatever the other stuff is. Rye seed down, rye seed. It's the grass, rye. But rye seed down, October uh, is the best time. Uh, September is probably a little early. Uh, so try October. Um, you'll see, it'll take a little while um, to really see some extreme growth. Uh, rye has a seven day germination, which is in, a lot better than most uh, grasses. Uh, so it should come up at some point, uh, pretty soon. Um, but like I said, resist the urge to mow it. I did it and I've made some dead spots where I'm gonna be working on next year to try and not let, to let that happen. Um, so it's gonna come up, wait for it's like 
six, I'd say probably about six, seven inches maybe. The first time I cut it, I cut it at five. The second time I cut it at four and a half. Um, so I'm cutting it real high. Don't cut it, don't cut it low. Um, and it, it's, it's not a super strong grass because it's only a winter grass. It will only last you from probably about December to uh, March. April, no, more like April, maybe May. It's, it's going to probably start dying in May. When I try to convince customers to do it, when they hear that, they're like, oh, I don't want to pay for a grass that's only going to last a little while. Now, my, uh, my yard, I do this in my yard, this is what you're seeing, this is my yard. My yard almost never has dead grass anymore. By that time, all the regular grass is up. So I have about um, maybe November to the end of January, my grass is dead. Besides that, all year round, my grass is nice and beautiful. Uh, now, my grass that's in the regular year is not as nice. That's what I'm, something I'm gonna work on eventually. But this stuff is nice, um, and it does really well. It covers super well. You've sowed it, you've waited for it to grow. Um, wait six, seven inches, something like that, and then cut it high. It's not, it's gonna strike like amazing at first when you first cut it, but five days, uh, six days, five days later, it's not gonna look as nice. That's another reason to cut it high, or else you're gonna be constantly cutting it, and then it's gonna, um, like you're gonna, it's gonna get really low because you keep cutting it. Um, cut it slow, um, don't speed through it. You're gonna see, especially the points, like you saw the dead spot, the points to get a lot of uh, mower traffic are gonna be matted down. Don't worry about that, just be careful. Uh, that will pop up. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, hope you uh, learned if you're gonna do this. I hope I can, this will helpful. But I did get a package. Oops. Package. Watch this. Check this out, guys. Look what I got. Saving green lawn care. So let's open this up and figure out what this is. So as you can see, I've got a saving green lawn care. Sorry, wrong side. <laughs> it's my earbuds. Saving green lawn care shirt. Um, I'll get a picture of the back of this. Um, this is not the shirt he sent me. Uh, that's not what he sent me. Um, he did send me something sweet though. So, you ready? Dun -dun -dun -dun. First, got a uh, SG Ninja Pop Socket. See. So, it comes with a little attachment if you have a iPhone 8, iPhone X also. So I also got in the mail a SG Ninja hoodie. This is Nick with Saving the Lawn Care, if you don't know who he is. Uh, Tar did not know who he is. A uh, humongous YouTuber. Um, one of my good friends, we, he lives in town here. Um, so I'll leave a link in, in the description of him and his channel, so go check him out. Uh, thank you, man. Uh, appreciate it. Uh, so guys, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you uh, learned something because that's kind of the ultimate goal in this video. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.